then we've got another clip here, really toxic, with Slim Fug. Yeah, you know, Slim Fug, the fucking legendary rapper, right? Slim Fug has some very, um, let's say, dicey, dicey opinions about the whole thing. Cassie and Diddy situation. Very, very strange. Um, very toxic masculinity type of trait thing, right? Listen to Slim Fug's opinion on things. With that coming back and getting Bill Cosby, coming back and getting Puff, I don't believe in that, man. <laughs> when shit go down, speak on that shit right then or it's out of there. It should be null and void. You should so you can only talk about your rape and your abuse or the trauma you've gone from, you've gone through at, at the moment it happens. So there's a statute of limitations on when you can speak about your experience. Maybe it's a year, maybe it's two years, maybe it's under six months, but there's a limit. If you don't talk about it then, it didn't happen or you have to just eat it. You have to just take the L and go to bed. <laughs> you got raped? Okay, when did it happen? Last week. Too late, can't talk about it. It's like, what, sir? Shouldn't even have no type of nothing. You should be. You shouldn't be able to do shit unless you must <laughs> let the people know what happened immediately. What? There should be a time limit on this shit. What happened was you. Whenever somebody says what happened was what had happened was, as a man, you know they're gonna come out with some absolute bullshit, especially when it's like black entertainers in America. Big up Illusionary Commission. I'd like you to branch out to review Cookware next. Yeah, exactly. You know how it is. Big up the issue commission. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you for the super chat, bro. And honestly, whenever anyone says what had happened was, y'all know how I give it up. Y'all know how I give it up. You know what it is. They always talking shit. You was trying, you got around them up and stand up on love shit. This is what happened. I'm going to tell you what always happened, right? You was... With a big hold on, hold on, hold on. So is he trying to say there's a conspiracy against Diddy to bring him down because he's a love guy? He changed his name to Love. They're trying to say this is the reason why he's trying to be. Oh my God! Please, if that's what I'm. Is he trying to get at that? There's a conspiracy around it. There's a conspiracy to take down Diddy because he's preaching love, like that Doctor Sebi stuff. Doctor Sebi was about to cure cancer, man, with these fucking herbs and shit. Dr. Sebi was going to cure cancer with fucking boiled ginger broth or something. That's why they killed him. <laughs> Dr. Sebi was killed by the CIA. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> In there with all this bread all this time. And then you went, followed your heart to f with a trainer. That motherfucking apartment got smiled in the bitch. That lifestyle felt. Oh, She's now, he's now in, not, he's not only done victim shaming or victim blaming Cassie, he's now going after her boyfriend or the husband, Alex Fine, and saying that since she's with Alex Fine, they must likely live in an apartment and don't live in the Hollywood Hills somewhere behind a massive gate overlooking the hills and, you know, with different rooms where freak offs happen. Now that they're living in an apartment, smaller, maybe less chic lifestyle. She's now missing the lifestyle where she had with Diddy and she's now bringing up these stories to get back on that level of the lifestyle that she had that brought her so much trauma and pain. Okay. Love, now it's struggle time, the love wearing out, and now you're trying to come up with ways to figure out how to get paid. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, I, now I'm healed and I can talk about it. I want to expose niggas in my books. You did that. You, you participated. You ain't saying for nothing you so because you participate in something that's downright evil and horrible even if it's under duress even if it's under the threat of violence the threat of abuse under the influence whatever it may be it doesn't matter because you participate in it god damn did that so stand on that man quit trying to expose people you have to stand on abuse huh you have to stand on business when it comes to getting raped. You got to stand on business, y'all. I know I raped you, but, you know, you let me rape you. You got to stand on business. <laughs> what? As a man, how can I rape you if you let me rape you? <laughs> it's like, uh, sir, what? Honestly, let's not hear anything about Slim Fog because he might have some crazy accusations of his wardrobe because this is fucking wild, bro for money like what the f 
Nah, that apartment got small. You and that dude, you left for love. You let your homegirls hype you up when you was with him. You let them homegirls hype you up to tell you, girl, he treating you bad. He cheating on you. He messing with them girls. Don't let him embarrass you like that. Like, I don't agree with that. Okay, well, Slim Fo's got a very different opinion on that. And then we got the last opinion on the brain trust regarding this issue. Let's hear what Pete Guns and Rich Dollars have to say about this. You know these two guys, right? Pete Guns and Rich Dollars from the none other than fucking love and hip-hop. Let's see what they have to say about this. I'm eager to hear what Pete Guns and Rich Dollars have to say about Cassie and the Diddy affair. Let's see what intelligent, nuanced, balanced opinion they have on this issue. Who do you think they're going to side with? Let's hear. That they want to be the voice so this doesn't happen to somebody else. So I'm going, I'm doing this. It's not about the money. It's about this not happening to somebody else. But then you get enough money and you shut the f up. So which one is it? That's what I, that's my question. Is, are we trying to be the voice so, so this doesn't happen to somebody else? Or are we going to grab this money and shut the f up? That's what I was saying. Okay. And my opinion on that is that if you listen to Cassie, agreeing with you and that's fine they, you're everybody's entitled to their opinion i don't agree this is what i'm saying number one it was civil civil means money so there was never this is who, who said it what was andrew tate this is cassie her famous song you must know who cassie is this is her famous song me and you you must know who this is You must know that intro. Do, 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 do. It's me and you. No, I can wait it. Think I want to make a move. Yo, know? baby, tell me how you like it. It's me and you. What's going on here? <laughs> there was never a dispute about what was the aim here. This is not a criminal case. He did not take a criminal case and make it civil. She did not start cooperating with the cops and then change up. She was in a civil case from the beginning, which meant she wanted money. If you listen to Cassie, Cassie's been saying, I've been asking Puff for money for years. And this nigga been on me. So I said, this is what's about to happen. I'm going to write this book. I'm going to get my money some kind of way. I'm going to get my money some kind of way. So it's a money grab. You agree with me? I'm not agreeing with you because no, Cassie never came out and said that she didn't want money. Cass, the, what Cassie did was exactly what she was supposed to do. And I'm not saying nobody's guilty because obviously everybody knows our relationship with Puff. Everybody knows our relationship with Cassie now. So right. all I'm saying is this. I'm not saying that Puff is guilty or innocent. This is not about that. It's not about... What is it about then? <laughs> it's about Cat, what, what happened that we all know publicly. Cassie said she wanted to, she opened the door. She opened the door. So now all these girls- She asked for, seeing. for the money. He didn't do it. So she so she put the, the she put, she started putting the stuff out. You know what you know? There's a stat, there's a New York precedent that says that, and I'm gonna have to get Monice on here because Monice just broke it down for me. The the um the, the, the New York precedent that was, that is over next week. It's over on Thanksgiving day. That said, if you have a civil suit that you want to do, uh, that's how the girls get in L.A. Reed. L.A. Reed got the same going on. Because I ain't talking about L.A., but another girl came out from Jesus Death Jam Christ. or Arista and said that L.A. sexually assaulted her. The, another girl came out and said Bill Cosby assaulted her. The New York statute is Different over next week. Yeah, well, the men of hip-hop have spoken. Um, Cassie only is in, only in it for the money. Nothing bad happened to her. She was okay with it when it happened, so we can't complain after it happens. Wow, fucking hell, mate! To be a woman in hip hop, bro, uh, some of the some of the some of the guys in that industry over there are fucking redacted. But hey, what can you do, bro? I guess why you have to just you have to the only way to make it really is just to focus on yourself and make enough money that you don't have to deal with those guys. That's probably what to do. In you know, kind of. Um, inoculate yourself from all the toxicity by being successful. So you don't have to depend on them, you know? 
You don't have to be in a studio with them alone. You don't have to go and interview with them. You don't have to be anywhere around these type of dudes. That's the only way to do it. But then again, it's not easy to become rich and successful because, hey, it's a music industry. But yeah, um, big up, big up Cassie. Glad she got her money. I'm glad she got her fucking money.